everyone. Good afternoon. Sorry, it's 10 to 1. I have been on the phone like literally all morning and just got out of the shower, so I apologize for my hair. Um, it is Friday, May 8th, and it is 12.50, and I have some exciting news for you. Grandpa is going home today. So he's rehydrated. They've got his um, new medication organized for um, his heart. He did have a mild heart attack, um, mild um, mitochondrial infraction, and um, yeah, so that's all organized. His new meds are organized. He had a really nice doctor, an awesome team. So right now we are going out for lunch for Subway because we're just waiting on patient transport. He's going to be transported home. And then we will be going to see him. Love you. Oh, weather. Sorry. So excited. Uh, weather. Weather. It's beautiful. Um. All right. Special weather statement in effect. Huh. Oh, well, that would be why it's 30 out. All right, Brant, Brant County, or Brantford County of Brantford County. I can't talk. I'm so excited. There y'all go. That right there, in Oxford County. First taste of warm and midsummer weather today. The warmest year so far this year has been ushed into southern and eastern Ontario by southerly winds. Under the strong. May sunshine temperatures this afternoon will reach the upper 20s to low 30s in most areas, making it feel much like midsummer. The first occurrence of 30 Celsius or higher of the year is expected in at many locales as a result. Humidex values will reach the low to mid 30s this afternoon. This is below the threshold required for a heat warning. Temperature tonight will dip into the mid-teens across the region, providing some relief from the very warm daytime conditions. The very warm conditions will continue throughout Saturday as afternoon temperatures reach the upper 20s to low 30s. Humidex values in the mid-30s are expected. Latest indication has suggested that temperatures remain considerably high than average Sunday and early next week. Cooler air forecast to arrive by the middle of the week. Please monitor the latest forecasts and warnings from Environment Canada at there. The public is advised to monitor future forecasts and warnings as warnings may be required or extended. All right, so that means I have to be careful because my heart condition, because of humidity. Hum humidity. Wow. There is not a 30% chance of that, but I doubt it. Well, it just went up a degree, so we're going to get Rob to put the air conditioner in the window. It's 32 out this afternoon, tonight 16 with a 10% chance of rain. This afternoon, 32, partly cloudy. Tonight, 16, partly cloudy in the evening, becoming mostly cloudy to cloudy after midnight. A slight chance of rain after midnight. Oh, it's not working, so I can't see this. But it's after midnight, so that's okay. Um, therefore, I'm not working outside this afternoon in this weather with the Humidex warning. Because the Humidex warning, I really, really have to be careful in because of um, my heart. So, we will be taking a taxi both ways to Grandma and Grandpa's. And um, we'll be going to Subway to have lunch shortly and getting the air conditioner down here and set up. So I will talk to you all later. I love you. God bless. Bye for now. We are leaving out and going home. Can you pick this up off my lap so I can show everybody, y'all? Look what Rob got for the critters, for the birdies and the squirrels. I didn't take my camera out because everybody and their cousin and their mother's cousin's cousin was there. It was like packed in there. He's cute. It was the last one on the shelf, way back in the shelf. It was either him or the little teeny tiny oval one. And I wasn't going with the teeny tiny oval one. We have too many birds. Like, we have crows. It's five so. quarts, approximately 4.8 pounds. Yeah, I said that. So we have crows that come to eat. So we need something more sturdy. So we got that.
we'll still feed them out front for the like the coons and the possum and the skunk but that that's specifically going to be for the birds Black and the squirrels so. which is we got a fruit fruit seed nut mix to go in there there you go Alrighty, I will talk to y'all later. I love you. I'm going to go home and uh, pull my aunt's cell phone and see if grandpa's home yet. And we're going to relax until probably 3 o'clock and then take off. So, God bless. Bye for now. Here's grandpa. He's home. He just finished some Powerade. Blueberry. It's all gone, Grandpa! It's all gone! Here, 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 let me move so you can put up your feet. Grandma's making your supper. How you feeling? You're looking good! Oh, that's the blender. Alrighty, talk to y'all later. Love you. God bless. Bye for now. Okay, so Grandpa's in the bedroom with the nurse, and I'm just waiting to be called for his drops. And yeah, it's a wonderful day today. Um, it's really, really hot in here. Uh, someone's going to put Grandma's air conditioner up for I think Uncle Johnny's going to do it tomorrow. So... Yeah, that's about it for now, and I'll talk to y'all later. Love you. God bless. Bye for now. We are home! Man, I am going to sleep tonight. Oh, I found another golf ball on my lawn. The pros of living across the street from the golf course. I just keep sticking them in this bag, and then I wash them really well in uh, peroxide solution peroxide and water only peroxide and water because um, it's safe and I give them like the rat and the hamster and the bunny so tonight we are gonna be he brought his toy outside get Elmo get Elmo we are going to be planting the rose bush in the corner. We're gonna be putting my, uh, my huge peat moss. We're gonna be putting my um, birdhouse up. And I think it's gonna go from that branch. Somehow, if I can throw a rope around it. Tie it off maybe? Or I might do it from this. Oh. I don't know, guys. Y'all, what? what do y'all think? I could do it from here. Huh. We shall see. Get Elmo in the house, please. You know better. You can stay outside, but I want Elmo in the house. You gotta bring him in the house. So, yeah. I, uh... I didn't film in Lowe's because, like, it was packed. Everybody and their mother and their cousin was in there. I, uh, got my bird housey. I'm going to shut the camera off for a minute. I'll be right back. So I have my camera on my little table that I got to fix and repaint. This is my beautiful bird house. Just got to take this paper off. You gotta get it out. Top comes off like that. And I don't know if I'm in view here. I'm gonna have to replace my battery soon. Oh, the heck am I supposed to get this off? I'm sorry if you have a view of Jack peeing, but my hands are kind of busy right now. Wow, that was successful. One little piece. Oh, I can't get it out. Oh my gosh, this doesn't even come off because it's like, there's this, there's this bolt in there, bolted to the bottom. 
in there so it doesn't come off. So we gotta do it the hard way. I got it! All right. So it says it attacks chickadees and cardinals. So yeah. And it can handle up to five quarts or 4.8 pounds. And the bag we have here is four pounds exactly. So I'm gonna pour all this into my bird feeder. Apparently not. I can't open it. Hang on, y'all. Okay, I have the camera a little lower. Actually, I have it resting on a Pringles tin. Ah, oh, fell those birdhouse. Alrighty. Spilled a couple, but they'll get them. They'll get them. Birdhouse is full. Full, full, full. We'll make sure it's coming out okay on all ends there. There we are. That one's full. Okay, so this is what I make camera resting on. All right, I will get new batteries when they go kaput or when I stop doing this, but I want to get that out for the birds. So there's lots out of there before I hang it. wood just snaps on like that and then you hang it now Jack is apparently thinking he's gonna lay down in a nice cool grass hey Jack what are you doing um all right now I suspected my batteries went kaput the grass seed out back I don't know what that was appears to be taking and the grass seed out front is not taking and what's really funny is most of the grass seed out back we bought at the dollar store the grass seed out front was a more expensive kind from Lowe's so thus being said I don't think that's very safe there you thus being said it doesn't matter what price you pay for grass seed um, that's not good. Huh. Ideas? Anybody? Hmm. I wish I could nail something to the fence that comes out of ways and I could just fit it over like a pipe or something. I could hang it in Kai's corner. I don't want to. Like, it's okay. It's the, the kids playing outside. They call me the mama of the neighborhood. Um. Hmm. Delilah's not coming up yet either. I don't know. I gotta fix that birdhouse and figure something out. I will be back. Love you. God bless. Bye for now. So my honey being the genius of this operation. I figured that you're gonna need to to lower it down to fill it back up. So I figured we'll just attach a rope and then attach the rope to the fence. So that way you just untie the rope and lower it down to refill it up. It's a redneck honey. Isn't he a genius, y'all? Like, that is awesome. Okay, stop. Just off to a hook. He is so awesome. <laughs> Awesomeness. He had to tie the hose around there to throw it around the the tree. It's good there, honey. What are you doing? You go around again? No, then it won't come down. Then you won't have the pulley system you have now. Here doing? you go. I think that's good. I think that's awesome. You just attach it right here. It's out of the way. And when 
they're all done that you just bring it down to the ground like a UFO there ta-da y'all talk to y'all later love you god bless bye my genius honey So I am off to Lowe's to get that grass seed we didn't get earlier because Rob's uh, real estate agent just came. Um, it might sound weird that me saying his real estate agent. No, we don't own our house. We rent. But um, he does flyers for this real estate agent. And she just came. So I got a couple bucks here. I'm going to go get some grass seed. And... Uh, Oh, some flowers I wanted. The heat's totally broken. It's it's still there, but the humidity is, is down a lot. So, yeah. Off I go to Luz. So, I will talk to you all later. I love you. See that bug? That was like almost in my mouth. That was close. I love you. God bless. Bye for now. Hello everyone, sorry about that, that was a nasty bump. Oh my gosh, it's still so busy in there. It's still busy in there. So, I got my one little plants I wanted to get for the garden. I'll show you them when I get home. I got two things of grass seed and some more morning glory seeds. Because I planted some morning glories in a pot for grandma. And they've taken and they're spreading planted morning glories out front for me and they're not sprouting and then my sweetheart decides to water the flowers I have in the plats that are still left to be planted out back because we're doing the back garden so he waters the flowers in the flats or plats sorry not realizing that I had the seeds in the packages in the plats so last night my seeds got watered so I had to plant them in a container first, and then when they when they germinate, I'll I'll give them a, about a week after they start to germinate, and uh, then I will um okay, there's people just like over there. I'm not sure, but oh well. Anyways, then I will transplant them. But I got more morning glories, so um this is a really busy corner. And I am going to go because I have a walk. I love you. God bless. I'll talk to you later. Bye now. Watch this. Honey, I'm home and I had a hard day. Pour me a cold one and oh, by the way, rub my feet. Give me something to eat. Get me up my favorite treat. Honey, my back is killing me. I need to relax and watch TV. Honey, hey, hey, hey. hey. Hey, honey, honey, I'm, I'm home. home. Okay. So these are the flowers I was telling you all about that I really, really wanted to get. And I couldn't remember the name of them. But they're absolutely gorgeous and I love them. I can't get them out of the bag. Apparently. You can have some downtime, honey. You can do that stuff tomorrow. Ta-da! Like they ones? are called... Can you hold? They are called... Flowers. They're called Rob's being a smart aleck. They're called Salasia. But I love them, so he's going to stick them out back for me. And then I went ahead and got two bags of grass seed. Fast growing grass seed. Only takes seven days. Nine dollars each. Nine dollars each. I spent a whole twenty-eight twenty, and I went ahead and got more morning glories. <coughs> I'm putting them up here. So I am now going to seed my lawn. Seed, not feed. Talk to you later. Love you. Goodbye. Bye for now. Apparently, my cat has had enough today and just collapsed in the middle of the hallway. <laughs> Look at nobody. <laughs>
<laughs> Jack is like, what is he doing, mommy? He d he's just going to sleep right there beside Crystal. He loves that hamster. No, he's probably feeling the fan. A oh, good boy, Journey. <laughs> Hello. Hi, baby. What are you doing? <laughs> he's like, I'm laying, mama. I'm laying. So, we got our air conditioner in. It is a portable air conditioner. So, that's how it goes into the window, just like that. That's it. Just this little piece. It's so easy. You just fit it in. Slide this up. Screw in the two screws. Put this tube to this, and you're done. Turn it on. There you go. It's an air conditioner, and then you can switch it to just plain fan. And it's also a dehumidifier. But right now it's 78 degrees in here. Nice and cool. And Journey's awake over there. So yeah, that was funny. Talk to y'all later. Love you. Someone's paging me on Facebook. Bye.